generations Radiation from another generation Making makers out of me and out of you Out of you Open worlds of inspiration Fabrication celebration If you dream it, you can make it You can make your dreams come true Wake the population, imagination, illumination Manifested destination, make your space you can see from this drone footage... Oh, thank you, Melvin, for that. Uh -huh. There's plenty of room in here to dump the junk that I have judged not shiny enough for my collection. Daphne, no! Back to your seat. We have a lot to cover this morning. As long as we don't get caught, we can use Parchment Pond as a garbage dumping spot for years to come. Now remember, stay hidden. If that gruesome twosome Cammy and Dev see you, I'll never hear the end of it. Now, get all of this sadness and drabness out of my sight. The Shredders better not mess this up. Getting rid of my non-fabulous junk is good, but I'm running out of room for my real treasures. Once I know I can trust them with this mission, I can put my real plan into place. Finding new, clean, unpolluted places in confetti to keep growing my precious collection. And, if a few ponds get dirty, or some boring bird's nests and squirrel bunk beds get trampled in the process, too bad. By the time my arch-nemesis, Professor Seymour, that eco-friendly freak, finds out about it, it will be far, far too late. <laughs> Edie, Jax isn't hiding from you. He must be out back getting supplies. But he promised I could let Jennifer the ferret sit on my shoulder. I even put it in my calendar, see? Clearly we don't share the same talent for organization. It's been three months since I saw my planner. Hey everyone. Oh, Edie, I forgot you were coming in. I'm so sorry, but Jennifer can't play today. She fell trying to reach a bag of cheese puffs on top of the refrigerator and hurt her back leg. We can relate. Oh no, poor Jennifer. Will she be okay? Definitely. The vet says Jennifer needs to rest and not put weight on her hurt leg. But try telling her that. All she wants to do is run around and play. That's why I have her in here. If you need a break, I can carry her in the sling. That would be really helpful, Edie, if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> I bet we can figure out a way to get Jennifer back on her feet. Uh, pause. She looks so sad cooped up in there. My mind is already racing like a ferret chasing a cheese puff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are Evil Queen Frivol's shredders doing here? <laughs> Slow down! They're going to run over its nest! Oh, no! I know you were just trying to play with the possum, but you ruined their home. It looks like they were dumping Queen Frivol's junk into Parchment Pond. It's bad enough that she has those ugly trash piles on her own land, but now she's polluting the rest of Confetti. There's nothing she won't do to feed her collection obsession. Urgh. We need a plan, Dev. Don't worry, Cammy. Frivol's gonna pay for this. Here, baby possum. Follow me. Look, here's your mom. Ah! Okay, fine. Now you don't get a song. I don't even care that possum rhymes with awesome. Okay, Dev. Our furry families need new homes. What do you think about a quick trip to see Reese and Kaylee? I need a change of scenery to get my creativity flowing. Are you guys learning about ferrets too? Did you know that ferrets sleep up to 18 hours a day? Did you know that a group of ferrets is called a business? Business ferrets? I wonder if they wear suits and carry briefcases. Wow, Edie, when did you become a ferret fanatic? I was trying to think of ways to help Jennifer's leg and ask the school librarian for help. 
Edie, this is amazing. Seriously, librarians are rock stars. We can make Jennifer a little cart with wheels. She'll be so happy to start running around the Maker Studio again. We definitely want in on Project Fast and Furious Ferret. Right, Reese? Absolutely. And since you did the research and found this awesome stuff, you'll be taking the lead, Edie. You know what this project really needs? Um, pipe cleaners. Edie, as the project leader, do you think you can procure the necessary provisions? Extra fuzzy ones and purple. It's Jennifer's favorite color. You got it. Guys, Kaylee's little sister Edie is around and she cannot see you here. Gotcha, we'll be quick, promise. Queen Frivol sent the Shredders to pollute Parchment Pond with her piles of junk, and they plowed right through this little family's nest and a bunch of other animal habitats too. Now we have a lot of homeless critters. We figured since you hang out with Edie's hamster and Jax's ferret, you might have some ideas. Speaking of Jennifer the ferret, we're working on a project for her right now and are studying up on her furry friend. Did you know that in the wild, ferrets move into nests that other animals have left behind? Little recycling rascals. <sighs> Cammy, I bet with your amazing origami skills. Ah, uh, of course. I knew you'd get the creases out of my creative brain. We can make the cutest origami nests and burrows for all the animals, even Dev's, uh, lovely possum. Wait, my possum. I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. Thanks for the inspo. Good luck. Happy habitating. 15 inches from nose to tail. So her back legs can rest here, and the front wheels will go here. Four pounds, one ounce. We have to use a really light filament to 3D print the frame for the cart so she can easily pull it around. Jax, Jax, guess who thought of the light up wheels? Gee, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't wait to give Frivol a piece of my mind. Uncle Seymour said he'll help us too. Frivol's trash obsession is out of control. She has trash where her heart should be. Not only did you fail to get rid of all of my trash in Parchment Pond, you think Cammy and Dev saw you shred a bunch of bunny beds? Are you sure? Maybe they... Oh, no. Oh, please, no. No, no, no. Don't, Don't be, be a frivol. Go, go hug, hug a squirrel. squirrel.